In this problem, we have some numbers, and we're going to find what's called the geometric mean. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So you have one, two, three, four, five numbers, and we're going to find the geometric mean. So in general, if you have, say, n numbers, which we'll call x1 through xn, the geometric mean is given by this formula. It's the nth root, so it's the total number of numbers. That's the root we use. And then we just multiply these. We take the product. Okay, so here, let's see how many numbers we have. One, two, three, four, five. So our n here is going to be the number five. Okay, so now we're going to take the fifth root. There's big G. Fifth root of the product of all of these numbers. So 28.5. It's going to put it in parentheses because I don't want to put a times because there's already a decimal. So uh, 73.6, 47.2, 31.5, and 64.8. Look at that. My, my little line on my root here <laughs> worked out perfect. So we have 28.5 times 73.6. Whoops times 47.2 times 31.5 times 64.8, okay? And then we're taking the fifth root of that. So basically in your calculator, what you could do is you can raise it to the one-fifth power, and that will give you uh, the answer. So I got roughly, and this is, this is a rough number. Um, let, me show, let me do it again. I typoed, actually. So let me just fix this. But a lot of numbers. Be really careful when you type it in. I believe I did it wrong the first time, and I believe this, this seems more in line. Uh, 45.8 uh, would be the geometric mean. That's actually correct. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, really nice. So not too difficult. Um, just use the formula, and you are good to go. Good luck.